No blood, no fire. You know how it's going down. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Welcome back to the to the show, man. No blood, no fire. How y'all feeling, fellas? A one, baby. Feeling good, man. And hey, man, sure. why don't you introduce yourselves for the people, man? It's been a long time. There you go. We in here, man. What up, dog? It's your boy Jay Blood. We in the building. What up, man? I'm Uncle Smooth, man. Now listen. We do got a special guest, kind of, because it's really like his 15th episode. He, he, he always here in the back, you know what I'm saying? He be having to edit him out. He be snoring sometimes. Sometimes he be talking with us, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to make some noise because it's a uh, No Blood, No File after his line debut for our dog, Jordan Crawford, man. Give man, it up for the OG, it. man. The young OG. It. Here, no, man. Say, oh, yeah, man. Man. You, got, you know he brings on, fans man. with him. Yeah. Yeah. You know he, hey, he brings Hey, Sizzle man. when I land on a pan, I pop, rock, and roll. Yeah. Hey. Right. yeah, we got Sizz in here, man. I don't know what happened, man. The vibes is right pre-show, you know what I'm saying? And we got a special Indeed. guest, man. Indeed. So uh, I'd be remiss, you know what I'm saying, if I don't run down some resume, you know what I'm saying? Because he is a, you know, NBA vet. You know, he looks still active to me. I don't know. I seen him on some of them runs. He was looking, looking like Very he got a little baggy man. on him. Very active. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, play in the league, I believe, nine-plus seasons. You feel me? And just a uh, contributor to the culture, bro. <laughs> so, welcome, dog. Welcome, Appreciate you. you. know what I'm saying? Bro, welcome, appreciate man. You. I'm with back. the legends. I'm with the legends, yeah, man. We man. got... Professor X behind the cameras, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? That's Vince, the ghost. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jamie St. Patrick, man. man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, he, you know, Jordan gonna be like, you know, recurring vet guest, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so we just trying to introduce that. Um, it's the off season. Of course, the NBA finals, you know what I'm saying? That is complete. We have a new champion. Give it up for y'all boys, some different nuggets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> one of us was, was one of us said they were serious. I can't remember who was saying it. I know? don't even I don't even know if I said that. Talk about no, that was me. It was, <laughs> that was me. That was me. I you know, I defended Jokic up here multiple times, you know, versus B, but uh I want to know y'all take. I really ain't chop it up too much with y'all. I've been busy. You know what I'm saying? But what's your take on the finals? Jokic, Jamal Murray, and the squad, bro. Talk to me. Man, first off, you got to give it up to Jokic, man. Like, yeah. he did his thing. Uh, and Jamal Murray, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people yeah. underestimated Jamal Murray all season. He's always yeah. been a guy that I think, you know, uh, complimented uh, Jokic to the utmost. Perfect. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, they did their thing this year, for real, for real. They deserved it. Yeah. Okay. Blood, I want to come to you and ask about, like, uh, your boy's Miami. I know you a diehard Miami fan. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. hey, blood, blood can't stand Miami okay. for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. all right, uh, so like, the reason is you saw what happened in the finals. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So like, did the wrong team represent the East, or is like, what you feel about the Nuggets, the championship, and what's your take? No, on no, the finals? I ain't gonna take nothing away from Miami. Like they okay. did, with, you know, what I'm saying they took care of who was in front of them. They played well at certain times. Uh, I just think you know the the Nuggets was just a better team overall, in my opinion. Absolutely, bro. Uh, but man, I mean, is it all Jokic? Like, what's your take on Jokic? Jokic, I, sh man, listen, man. Did he, he uh, did he hit another level in the, in, in the playoffs? You feel me? Is it like another nah, level nah, he, he reached? In my opinion, he most definitely hit a different okay. level. Uh, his level of uh, he stayed aggressive. Uh, whether it was him, you know, what I'm saying getting everybody involved, or it was him just taking over a game, scoring. A high that pick and roll was crazy. To me, that yeah. was the biggest question, if he could just take a game over scoring-wise. And yeah. he did it multiple times throughout the playoffs. So, yeah. for me, uh, he most definitely, you know what I'm saying. So, he got that. Yeah, he got that. I give him he, he over Embiid at this point? Is, is that safe to say or not yet? We ain't talking like that. Man, I just think uh, in today's game, everybody get carried away of. Too soon? Too soon, just as far as where they want to rank players you know yeah. what I'm saying like I think this year Jokic did take it to that Another next level, level as far okay. as what he did and that's deserving but it's like don't take away you, from I don't yeah what like, you mean like well as far as like I think Jokic took it to another level like you said and yeah. now he is like I feel like the best center in the league you know what I'm saying but I feel like they get too far carried away talking about Shaq and all that extra stuff you be hearing like from like the other guys and all that I think we can't take it away from when they did meet up. Was that right before the playoffs started when Embiid and Jokic met up yeah, and Embiid dominated them? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Up. But it's like, I think, like, you know, as far as, like, when you're comparing franchises and things like that, the Nuggets right now is on a different level. It yeah. ain't just Jokic. Now, he, now he is. Team, yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? He is great. But as far as, like, where 
the coaching staff at and the coach and where the GM Chemistry, at. Chemistry, all that. All that is on another level where it's like, man, I've been – I've Murray, yeah, beginning right. the, our first season, our first show, what I tell y'all about Doc. This is what you, this is what NB had. Yeah, yeah. Doc and your man. Doc Doc has since been who fired. your man? James Harden. Yeah. I got we knew that. James Harden off the court. That's my guy, man. You know I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to get a hundred bands with my birthday too. Hey, like little baby, you know. What I'm All right, but, so uh, I got but, a question. Go ahead, go ahead. I yeah. got a question. So, like we said, like before the playoffs, we got that NB that went at Jokic mm-hmm. yes. and went crazy, right? Absolutely. Why don't we see that on a consistent? I playoffs. know, look, I know Doc does play a part in that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, I know. like, I be wanting to see a guy go out aggressive. Mm-hmm. Like, not, and I, I feel like with, when and beating them dipped out this year, I ain't really see that from him. I felt like. When it was time to swing, yeah, it, was bro, like, it was like, I didn't, I didn't yeah. see. So they, I felt like, we, I think we talked about this. I'm not sure if we did or not, but I felt mm-hmm. like Harden won them two games. I felt like he won them two games just. Being on himself. his own, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Being himself. I don't know if I seen him be do a but how did I, but, how did, but how did Harden win them games, bro? Like he was cool with winning them games when he could be Harden mm-hmm. and it was without MB. Mm-hmm. But it's like when MB came back, it was like, how do you mix with MB and right. still do that with no f- excuses? And that's the chemistry advantage that Jokic got. Over and B and B that's got a, that's that the Robin that's the chemistry of advantage he got with Jokic and f- Jamal. It's like yeah. Jamal can go do that without Jokic, and when Jokic is playing, yeah. I'm gonna do Coach it. Coach Malone too. Yeah, and no, Coach, it's Malone, Coach Malone. Big, big Coach Malone. We got we got we got to talk about Coach Malone. Yeah, now nah, sure. nah, I want to get Sizz involved for real because I want your take on the whole finals and how it broke down the playoff run for the Nuggets. Like 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 is they real? Cause I don't see them going back to back or getting mm. another one, but like I never what felt you see? they was real, but they proved me wrong. Okay, and it came down, you know, Jokic really respect the game. Yeah, so, you know, like he like, taking what you give him, and that's it. Yeah, you know he's, and he play the game to win, and he love it because yeah. it's about like winning. When I win, I show you I'm better than you. That's how he go about right. the game. Yeah, and that makes it like you and make know it fun to that play make, with, huh? That's fun to play with. That'd be fun to play yeah. with, and it's fun to watch because right. now, you know, people play for so many different reasons. Mm-hmm. They play for followers. They play for the, right. to show their outfit. They play the <laughs> all type of <laughs> shit. They play yeah. to show their yeah. outfit. For real. Yeah, yeah. You for real. If you ball, so, you're going to get that little you know, yeah. tunnel coverage. You yeah. Know yeah. Like, you, you could tell when Jokic talk after a game, and he'd be like, hey, I just lost my MVP trophy. I ain't care a about that. Yeah. Like, you could tell it. To act, yeah. like I really played the show. I was the best. Now I want to go to the crib for a couple of months. Right, hey, that out. that gets me to a point. Did y'all see that little clip in the uh, Jokic talking to his teammate, and his teammate had all of them like different Lebrons and Kobe's in there, and and Jokic was like, "Man, that's dumb." And he only had like two or three different <laughs> pairs of shoes. <laughs> you know nah, what I'm saying? That that's goes, real though. yeah. That that just got on the yeah. That's like I, I come here and get the job done, man. Yeah, that's right. it. Yeah. That's it. I rock with it, man. What? So, like, with the landscape of the league where it's at now, I feel like the best team won. It was fun to watch them. And Mike Malone, I know we want to give him yeah. props and you know, all that. So, what's y'all take on him? Because he seemed like a cool coach. And I, I felt like that's in Sacramento, you know what I'm saying, when I first got hip to him. So, yeah. what's y'all take on Malone? Man, I, I love Mike Malone for a number of different reasons. Uh, you know, it's I don't know if it was just Mike Malone, but just the uh, – from the gym or whatever, it's like yeah. what they seen in Jokic, he was a 40th pick. Right. Everybody you know what I'm saying? On. So when they had uh, Jokic and who's the dude from Portland? What's the other? Nurkic. 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 Yeah. Nurkic. You know what I'm saying? They had and Nurkic was balling at the and time. Nurkic. Yeah, like, they, 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 both Nurkic? they was yeah. both. Yeah. And they had to trade Nurkic and they knew that they had enough in Jokic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did not see it at the time. I yeah. did. Yeah. 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 And then another piece is Jamal Murray. Yep. And this time, uh, you know, a lot of people would have seen Jamal Murray as a six man mm-hmm. instead of a point guard that could control the tempo of the game and get his buckets right. when needed. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's what uh, that's what uh, the coach seen yeah. from the beginning. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Even throughout the injury, too, they stuck with him. Yeah. And, bro, speaking on Jamal Murray real quick, I'm going to give it right back to you. Yeah. It's like uh, he don't normally average a lot of assists, but in the finals I think he was 21 and 10. 
So it's like him and Jokic, the way they bounce off each other, I feel like is the perfect marriage for them. You know what I'm saying? What you think I about think that? Jamal Murray is the perfect player to to kind of show like where the NBA, where it, where it is, where they inf- emphasize too much on stats. Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a 48 minute game. It's a lot. People can get stats all day, but it's like mm-hmm. when you get them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you're trying to get them, it's f***ing up the rhythm of the game. Sometimes yeah, you just make the, like like hockey, you make the hockey pass, even yeah, though you know you can do some yeah. more. You know what I'm saying? He, he, and and that's what I think he showed is like, bro, like through the season, I'm not going to average as much, much assist as the top assist because yeah. that's going to make us lose. Yeah, but yeah. when the game is, you know, when, flowing, it, yeah, when, it's, when it's time to do that, yep. I'm going to get more assists because it's called yeah. for me to do that. Yeah. Like I seen some, uh, I seen Murray talking about like when they at first found a, you know what I'm saying? They rhythm him and Jokic was coming up when they was coming off the bench originally. Yeah. And then he was saying like they had a nice pick and roll game. You can see it in the develop over the years and just a simple pick and roll, yeah. read and react. This is like you saying, like he led the the whole finals in assists. You right. know what I'm saying? We would all probably would have picked Jokic to lead, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, the finals in assists. But it's, like you said, they taking what they're giving them. Yeah, so how Miami I mean? was playing and they was taking that away from Jokic, yeah, so man, Jamal man, did it. Yeah, just free read and react. Yeah, and that's bro. why I said you kind of got to credit Mike Malone to give those guys the freedom, but also credit the players to not abuse the freedom. It's like, you know what yeah, I'm saying, yeah. stay disciplined on what we're doing, uh, stick to the script, and you know what I mean, De- be disciplined basketball players. And, Mike, so, Mike yeah. Malone is the best at dealing with the politics and still keeping it as natural basketball as possible. Mm. Like, I'm going to get as many hoopers on my roster, so when I got to deal with the politics of basketball, it's still going to be some hoopers on the court. Mm-hmm. He the best at that. You know what I'm saying? He still yeah. keep it. The na- and it shows, like, him having DeAndre Jordan, Ish Smith, Reggie Jackson, Reggie Jackson right. all them OGs, in case something happened, yeah. shows you, like, he was really putting his all into winning. And then one yeah. other thing, man, we, I got to put, like, Aaron Gordon, like, for him, like, Aaron it's Gordon, numbers weren't better than what they were in Orlando, but he was a better player than he Ooh. what he was in Orlando. Nah, right, yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Denver. And I think just off the Ooh, strength boy of too. Uh, Keep going, though. Um, yeah. Just off the strength of him, like, not settling for threes, bro. Using your Getting size advantage, bro. Like solid on defense. Yeah. yeah. So athleticism. You know, yeah, I, I, mean? I credit that to good coaching as well, man. Michael Porter you know Jr., KCP, Bruce Brown. Like, what you think? That's who I wanted to Bruce mention. Brown. Bruce Brown. Yeah, he was solid. Like was Bruce surprised. Brown with the Pistons. Bruce Brown with the Nets mm-hmm. was nothing like Bruce Brown with Denver. Yeah. Like yeah. I didn't know he had the capability to decision make. Yeah. Like when he played with the Pistons and uh, the Nets. He was like a four man hustle man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They played him more as a guard and decision maker and score. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't think he had the ability to do that, but, you know, I, that I credit's love, Mike I Malone. love what he showed, bro. And, like, so Mike Malone, that's that's Brendan Malone's son, right? From the Pistons from back in the day? I believe so. like I mean, you're going coach. far, bro. You know I don't what I'm saying? Know. I, I don't know, but he's he a, he a coach's son, yeah. Yeah, I'm he like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, I feel like that's, the, you know, Detroit Root. Look up on Google, bro, and they <laughs> showed some. He got in there practice and was busting. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Did you, you remember seeing <laughs> that? Um, what do you have on him, little twin? Cross? It was a, you, it, 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 a suitor, the mid-range. Third? Okay. Mid-range was crazy. Little Mark Price. Yeah. For real. Now, you can tell, though, he... He no basketball. Yeah, he cool, bro. You yeah, can, you can no just basketball. get a vibe yeah. off him. Did y'all see him at the parade today? No. Yeah, I happened? love what he was on. <laughs> Talk to him. Had cocks to the side. Word. Had a chain on, bro. <laughs> he had yeah, a chain. Was it his chain or was somebody else? It had else's? to be a player's yeah, chain. Okay, okay. I'll be running this I'll be back. running it back. <laughs> he said that? Yeah, he was. <laughs> hey, he said that. Hey. Y'all think Bruce Brown going somewhere? He ain't going nowhere. He coming back. We, we got to run it back. Yo, he was talking cash. Bro, been in the like, block, that's what he said, in the parade. Ooh. That's yeah, great. Bro. Was lit. He hard, for sure. So what's the what's the chances they do run it back and spin the block and get another ring back-to-back in Denver? Is that possible? It's possible, it's but possible. I don't know. You it's know possible. what I'm saying? Like, the league it's, shuffling right now. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot I don't of moves know. to be made, bro. Yeah. We're going to get into that yeah, matter of fact right now. Oh, but hold on. What's the chances? What's the chances of a repeat? We want to call it early? Come on, blood. They got a good chance. They got a good chance. Got a solid good chance, chance, right? The Warriors got something to say about that, though. Lakers, the they Suns. Got, the Warriors got some figuring out. Yeah, they got, some figuring right. out. <laughs> they got some figuring out. You're right, because you would technically be an insider. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, we ain't going to say it. When we do it, when we do it. Because it's like, you know, 
<laughs> they call me Fast Steph, but you know what I'm saying? Do I really want to be Fast Steph? I might want to just be myself. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> anyways, man, we'll listen, man. We'll, we'll get into all that later, man. So uh, I'm excited about the draft. I'm one of them dudes. You know what I'm saying? I like to tap in on the draft. And I love the offseason and trades and player movement. I love that. So mm-hmm. CP3, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my dog ain't here. His mans, they got released. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but uh, CP3 is out of Phoenix. I want to know y'all thoughts. What does this mean? Um, we got Monty Williams gone. Now he with us. We done paid him a bag. I love this press conference. Um, a couple other things happened. What did you love about his press conference? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, yeah, the, part, the part where he was like, man, because like his, I guess his uh, wife was going through breast cancer, you know what I'm saying, during mm-hmm. the decision. Pistons was hella patient, gave him a bag. He was very appreciative of the bag. And then he said he want to um, do so good here because of that. And um, he want to, like, make you forget that he not from here on some Dave Bing type. So I respected that from Monty, the former player. Is this my bag insane? <laughs> Yo. That bag insane. All the players was at the press conference. I fucked with that. That's, that's rare. He seemed surprised by that, that all the players showed Pay up. That, that much money go to first. The players like, Yo, I got to see this. He getting this well, he get more than me. He get more than me. So, okay, so Tom, let's start Monty with the with the home squad. What's y'all thoughts on Monty Williams joining the uh, franchise? So, I want y'all to start. With. No, why you want me to start? <laughs> why you want me to start? I'm, man. I'm curious the most. But you, how you feel about it? Get into it, Joe. I need tap in, man. What's up? Come no, on. why'd you pass the the, the That's guy? How he's gonna rock it. He's gonna you 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 gonna start it off right. I got a feeling. Just trust it. Just trust I, the I, 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 I really, <laughs> I, I really don't know. I, all right, to start it off. Yeah, I like the I like the idea of Monty Williams. You know what I'm saying? I feel right. like, you know, as someone from outside of Detroit, that's, you know, uh, got a good track record. Good track record and a new way of doing yeah. things. Maybe a hipper way of doing things. Yeah, former player. Got yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Like so, you know. I just don't know, you know, just from our thirst to get him, mm. I don't know if it fits. You know okay. what I'm saying? But maybe they can prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like All right. Me and my brother was talking about this. He was speaking, saying that, you know, I guess the management talked to the players, mm. and they were all in agreement, like kind of giving the green light to hire Monty. So in my, from that perspective, I was like, okay, that's cool, you know. If the young guys, they, it's somebody maybe they could they feel they can relate to. Yeah, you know it's what an I'm upgrade, saying? bro. But you know, what I mean, I'm happy when you know what I'm saying our, our people get paid. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, sheesh, like ain't no, yeah. ain't no salary yeah. cap yeah. on the That's a lot of, a lot of <laughs> bread. Spend ain't that no. bread. Yeah, fuck it. yeah. spend them bands. He good. he good from the disciplinary aspect. He okay. a real strict coach. He is. I didn't know that. Yeah, he a strict coach. In the sense of what? And like, like when you say that, like as far as like I mean, how you for play? young people making millions of dollars, you only yeah. gonna get that ear so much, right? Yeah. So, you know, a coach in the NBA, a good coach in the NBA, it's just about managing egos. Okay. He 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 willing to have a little you know college type you know atmosphere going towards like you know some NBA the young players, players cuz it'll work now nah. yeah, yeah. Need it. and they need it cuz they ain't never experienced no success and they don't know you know they they think it's easy like they already right. made it so they like mm-hmm. we really chilling they don't know you know you got to go a little gotta harder grind. you got to grind so he good for that it was like you yeah. go a whole summer not communicating with Aiden yeah and mm. now Aiden and you it, it, it wasn't figured out it, was just, gonna it looked run bad for real it, yeah exactly to okay. run up, so it's like that was my only concern. Like, damn, I hope damn, I forgot that, about that you know what I mean that he could be, you know, patient with because we got a lot of young players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There ain't too many vets on our squad. I mean, it's a couple, but we got multiple bigs. And I want to see how he handles that and what what yeah, the run gonna be. With you got Kay. Wiseman, Bagley. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of bigs over there. Yeah, that he got to kind of like we said manage the egos of them guys. So. It's I mean, I want to see him win for yeah. sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see it's him It's an upgrade from Dwayne Casey. I'm it happy is. about that. It is. But I hope hey, Kevin Ollie hey, wasn't the wrong uh, one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right, man, so we got the fifth pick. I know I was mad as hell. I at least wanted a top three pick so we can get one of them players we've been hearing about all year. Mm-hmm. Brandon Miller, Scoot. Yeah. No, we weren't going to get Wimby Yama because we, we called that early with the Spurs getting that. <laughs> yeah. We knew that, dog. Yeah. We, we so knew that was long coming. Time ago. So... Fifth pick, I don't know what y'all feeling. If y'all want to keep it, trade with the twins. We can trade it for like go down, like some some vets. How y'all feeling about the pick? Cause the draft, I'm unenthused. 
Yeah, I, I mean, for me, like, I don't really know what they, what we can do with the fifth pick yeah. if we're not going to use it as a fifth pick. You what, know what I'm saying? What like, if we what move I mean? up? Would you be cool with that? Would you like moving up? Moving up? What you mean? Top so three? Move, moving up in the draft to the top three? I mean, of course. Like, okay. if you could, if you could get Brandon Miller or Scoop, that's the win. You win it. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Win. Because okay. I think you have no choice but to put your organization behind players like that. Yeah. I think when you get to fifth, and I'm going to just keep it real, I don't think we got the people that got the balls to put our organization behind a certain player. Like when it's yeah, five, sure. like, you know, like them twins, yeah. they real deal. I like them twins. Yeah, but they can yeah. also come here and you can – Play them like fifteen to twenty minutes a game, and yeah, say they're not ready. Yeah, yeah say they're not ready, yeah, and I it's hope like all that done with. Yeah, with that's, the new that's regime, what the pisses But that's what we own. Like, like we got we got uh, Wiseman right now, who's like I, I, a number two I, pick. I, I love Wiseman, dog. But if we don't I play him it. like a number two pick, he ain't gonna be a number two yeah. pick. So that's on Monty Williams, and that's what I'm hoping. I'm real optimistic, naturally. I got my fingers crossed we move up or trade the pick or get the right piece that's going to fit and I'm just at a standstill. But with even boys. if we had but even if we had the number 2 pick or the number 3 pick and we got school, what do we do? Let's see how it happened, dog. Troy, we hope you trade us up. I want to see that. He said he said it was a uh, it was one proposal they were saying like that we trade away the uh, Bodanovich for the 10 pick, the number 10 pick and Tim Hardaway from Dallas. What we gonna do with the number ten pick? Five and ten to be good. What we gonna do with ten? No, what you. we gonna do with ten? I feel you. And then it's ten. But it sound enough? good. Five and it's ten. So, that's all they. That's good. what they looking for. <laughs> what it sound like? Yeah. They just try to make it to sell some tickets and. So y'all think we need to get a vet in? That's what I think. That fifth pick. Now if we move up, I'm with that. But I, but we need some real. So you. Want I don't want CP three. I do not want CP three. <laughs> You wouldn't be happy with five and ten? Hey, I mean, I know we could do some with that, but is it the right? We got, we got good bigs. We got good. We got good enough. Guards. We got we enough prospects. We, we need Brandon enough. Miller, bro. Brandon Miller make everything better for me. How? I ain't mad at five. He and a wing. We need yeah. a wing. We get five and ten, and then trade it for a dog. Be Bill. Oh. Yes, that's that. Be Bill. Be Bill got a no <laughs> trade clause. He like hell no. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Hey, hey. Up on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Pistons, hell no. Where Miami at? <laughs> Where Miami at? Yeah. Be Detroit, bill, bro. hell and, and, no. And be bill, be bill, fifty million a year, bro. That's a that, that's a big Dude, contract. No. Yeah, you right. I go watch some games with be bill though, for sure. But all right, so let's get to the rest of the league too. With um, Dallas, they talk and talk. I seen some shit with uh, Draymond and LeBron and all that. I could see LeBron skating like that on the Lakers and all that just to get with a good squad. I seen CP3 in them, you know, the Suns, and, uh, you know, he's gone, KD, like, Kyrie going there. What's y'all thoughts on, like, the Suns and what they got going on? Like, like, like what y'all want to see? Who y'all want to see go there? I think the Suns, bro, they, they, got, they got a great – getting CP3 off their books. Yeah. Bro, they, they – Might be going to the Clippers is what we seeing, man. I don't know. No, I see him in the Lakers uh, – Facility, so hopefully he just you know what I'm saying that'd be terrible. The Clippers on yeah him, him with uh but the Suns bro have freeing up that cap space that's yeah. gonna be uh pretty dangerous for them in the our day head coach Monty Williams yeah. they, they they but having D book and KD yeah. right there Frank right. Vogel I don't know about that Frank Vogel oh yeah I, I ain't, ain't too mad at it but I think they just in position bro to make a dangerous move to make them a, like a contender right away like they 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 freed up that cap space that Chris Paul contract was big yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they make the right move. I think they, you know, one piece away from, you know what I'm saying? Do you think they, they still aiming for, like, championship or are they trying to fall back a little bit and just be competitive and kind of rebuild? I think they, they got to aim for championship right now, it. especially with KD. Like, KD, what, 35, 34? I don't know how old KD is. 30, 34, 35? Yeah. yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like. KD in that, that stage where it's like you got to win right now. He only got three years left on that contract. Yeah, they got so. deep booking and KD is always championship of KD in the building. That's how I feel. That's what I would want to, you know, be nah, on. So, you know what I mean, who like who you see that can go there and like make a difference? Could you just like 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 Kyrie? Nobody. Nobody. It's no hope. 
Huh? There's no hope for KD and them boys? It, it, it's a lot of no hope for a lot of these teams, man. I ain't Damn. trying to be like that, but it's like, I mean, who? Not who, KD. KD who, got who, you got to address the real, you, man. Hey. What's the real? Come what's on, talk to real, me, Sis. Come on, what's the up? last two years in Phoenix, mm -hmm. they didn't let somebody come in that arena and just disrespect them without no fight back. Mm -hmm. D-Book took it both years. Yeah. Just... Get embarrassed and oh, not man. even fight back. Mm. That and then we'll come back to start of the next year and be like, D book top ten. Yeah. We gotta at least acknowledge, like, bro, you can't in competition. Luca, Luca knocked you around the year before last. In competition, yeah. you can't just get yeah, knocked around. Like when you go yeah. play somebody in the backyard one on one to fifteen. Mm -hmm. You lose 15 5. I own you for life. Yeah. <laughs> you I, I always got you. you feel and me? I never worry about you ever again. Yeah. That's fact. Yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah. Yeah. That's fact. Yeah. For real. So you get embarrassed by 40 yeah. at your two years in a row. Come on, man. We got at least That's what I'm saying. It's like, what what else do you need? Like, I know what they need, bro. What they need? You buy some bullshit. <laughs> Kawhi? Nope. You go, nope. You go to Kawhi nah, for everything. I know Ooh. what they need. Bro. What they need? They need Draymond. Draymond. They need Draymond. Some in the locker room. They need, a, I like they that. Need a they need Draymond. Draymond and Pat Bev. That would make that would make KD and Book both of them, bro, more with way more confident, yeah. way more tough walking around because yeah. they got big bro, big bro in there. That's big bro. Big bro you That's feel? big bro. I like how you brought That's that up. That's how they gonna play it. That's like yeah. Big bro. Yeah. I like Draymond how you got mind control up. over a lot of these boys, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think that him playing that role, bro. You know what I'm saying? Holding cast accountable. They need that energy they for need sure. That energy over there. I they need that, that energy. Nail, yeah. So I can see. And yeah, bro, I like that because I don't think they need the big splash point guard that's going to be like this. Draymond, Draymond is need needed. Uh, Draymond is needed a lot, a lot of places right now. Bro. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to say about this. Man. Light it up, man. Yeah, come on, man. We called the shooter, man. Let me throw that line. We called the shooter. We running the floor. This is starters. We running the offense. They call the six man up to start. Up, man, out of the Warriors before they won when Mark Jackson was there. Yep. Mark Jackson used to always get on. He ain't say it directly to Steph, but he used to always say it indirectly to Steph. Like, and he used to talk about when he used to play against CP. CP used to always take it personal going against Steph because you know he was like the big homie. Yep. Steph used to never go at him because he was the big homie. So mm -hmm. Mark Jackson used to be like. But if somebody going at you, he used to say it to like Harrison Barnes or something. If somebody go at you, it's your obligation to go back at them. He used to say it indirectly to Steph, though. Right. No, when Dray Draymond him. wasn't starting at first, the most, the biggest trait Draymond brought to the Warriors was protecting that competitiveness, that like that niceness that Steph had. Got you, like, fuck like Steph that. used to show respect to people, mm -hmm. even though he was better than them. Draymond allow him to protect Steph. Like I get on the bull Draymond be like, I get on the bull yeah. and talk to C P <laughs> and you just go kill. And they went and won Damn. three, four because of that. Oh, that energy. That's why Dr Draymond is so valuable as that's a player. Shit, that's the hell of he man. always took on being the bad guy. Right. And Steph just was like, oh, bet is up. Mm -hmm. Now I can go do my Nah, and, and nobody you know, can do what I can do. I can go out there and just, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Bro, and see, okay. Let's talk about this, though, man, because, yeah. George, so this is a good, this is good That's back to the value it is sometime in having a vet around. Like, you feel like kind of, yeah. not saying P.J. Tucker is on the magnitude of Draymond, but I feel like he That's the vibe that, I get all I day. I feel like he brought that for Giannis in a yeah. sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. where Giannis can go around flexing a little bit more, you know, he got somebody like that enforcer. Yeah, we call yeah. him an enforcer. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But I think that's something that's missing. It, it From ain't a too lot many of them. Because it was a lot of that back in the day, like back in the '90s. It was a lot yeah. of them type players. That was natural. Yeah, that yeah. was natural. I think that's like I was thinking about this uh, a couple of days ago. Just like where the NBA at? It's not a lot of those players that will naturally have respect with the younger players. That's not necessarily the superstar. Mm -hmm. But when they in practice, they know like, no, nah, this got game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, or I like, them, I like the way he moves, or he a real dude. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot of older players in there, like in the league, like that, that can keep these players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the right track. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel me? So yes. I think that's what the NBA is missing. You know, yeah. like that's you know, about. in Memphis with with Jai's doing, yeah. or you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like when you 21, you can't see yourself when you 34. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Too young to see that. Right. And too you know what I'm saying? But when you, point, if yeah. it's a 34 year, 34 year old, like handling the coaches a certain way, not disrespectful, but yeah. letting them know like certain yeah. shit, like, man, come on. Come on. I ain't going for it. But it got to be a, you respect. It can't yeah. be no, it can't be no weak that's just yeah. a, a glue guy that Jared Dudley can be Jared Dudley or a good no, Jared Dudley yeah or a yeah, good no a good but what about Pat Bev uh, yeah. is Pat Bev I mean, of that caliber to a degree to a degree he to a yeah he okay. to a degree but a nigga that's like you looking like no nah, this got game but yeah. he ain't never played the you know he ain't never had a role that you he should have yeah you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna listen to him because I got respect for his game and the way he carry himself yeah, so you saying yeah. somebody on some like Jamal Crawford Jordan Whoa. Crawford type I, I don't want to bring yeah. my boy in there. I don't want to bring my I boy mean, in there yeah, any time yeah, yeah, but I go we go what you mean yeah I'm but that, that's yeah. that, that's what I'm saying yeah. though you know what I'm saying because even when like you know from my experience of coming on like when you go to the high school or college, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You'd be like, like I'm, I might, I might be in a better position than him, but mm-hmm. he got game. Like, yeah, what you be yeah. on? I'm gonna go kick it with him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, this, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I get it. That's what Ja ain't got in Memphis. Mm-hmm. He, ain't, you know what I'm saying? He a young yeah. nigga like, right. yeah. it's up. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, he doing the. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he living. Okay, so it's a lot of shit going on with Ja. That's the one thing these young people need to know. Hey, bro, this move on without you. Yeah. It don't matter how cold you is. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think nobody is cold as me personally. But I seen after a while, they can make a Langston Galloway look like me. Easy. <laughs> no edits. No edits, Vince. No, no, <laughs> no edits, Vince. No edits, Vince. No, it's for real, though. <laughs> no for edits, real. baby. This for real. <laughs> like, I was Galloway. watching Langston Galloway one time. I was like, hey, Look like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm no, they, can, yeah, they can do that. Yeah. So they You're need right. to know. These young need to know. Jeremy Lin was the nicest for a second. <laughs> Man. Right. Man, they can make you look cold. They can make you yeah. look weak. Okay. So y'all need to know that can move without you. Mm. That's what these young niggas be forgetting. So they, play be, the game. they be getting caught up in their head. Like, everybody say you great. Yeah. They don't know. Like, bro, we, we could do this forever, yeah. bro. <laughs> we got we got it damn so so speaking of like people that do dumb shit, let's talk some zion williams <laughs> zion williams now listen i want to be the first to say i'm not mad at how he's moving i'm mad at how he's moving you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you feel me i'm, not, I you for sure. I'm like i'm mad at, i'm not mad at who he getting who he kicking that it with great, you a young man. boy do your thing bro but it's like what he was saying like yo if i move you to dallas if i move you out here you gonna be my girlfriend yeah. like all that but that all right let me talk to the pros, man. Because, you know, this ain't all no my pros room. in that area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm just talking about professional athletes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never got to that level, right? But um, how treacherous it get in these streets, <laughs> man? Because he got Mariah Mills and other, you know, he, he GM flying them out and moving them in and getting girls pregnant. Like, talk to me, uh, fellas. Uh, I ain't trying to get too graphic with that shit, but it's like... <laughs> When you make it to that level, like, and I ain't made it to that level, like, you know what I'm saying? Zion. Like, he up, he up two, 200, 300 M's. Bro. Jordan Brand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, Dorsey. When you make it up to that, you're not even, you ain't even talking to people regularly. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like my, uh, what? It's like Grubhub or Uber. Like, Got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just you talking that to connection. people and yeah, yeah okay. you just all right. ordering. Shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all he doing. He, he ordering. <laughs> you know, that's all he doing, bro. And they like, showing the DMs and yeah, all that. That's crazy. How much it costs? You know what I'm saying? It's boy. nothing. It's nothing, bro. Damn. He <laughs> obviously ain't got a problem <laughs> with it. Boy, ain't tripping. He don't care. He getting blasted or nothing. He's smiling with the that Jordan earring. That, 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 he ain't said a word through all this. <laughs> shit. Yeah, this is under fire. Nigga. He <laughs> ain't chilling. What stuff? What y'all talking about? Yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping over that. For real, for real. He'll be back next year. Like, what we talk about the Pelicans. Yeah, he about, in trade talks and all types of trade talks. That's yeah, Zion. It's like, we got to realize we met Zion on Instagram just dunking on this. <laughs> we don't know who he really is. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> we just met this. We, met just, this, we, we just, really don't know this <laughs> like that, dog. He on we that. We seeing this hey. rocking Pikachu pants and shit. <laughs> you know? we hey, yeah, he the worst dressed. Hey. He the worst dressed. <laughs> 
dressed Where like my man. Where is he Pikachu <laughs> pants, man? Yeah, he dressed terrible. Yeah, Pikachu, Pikachu on his pants. Dude, me. We don't know who yeah. he is for real. All right, man. You can't get mad at him. Right, bro. So, so y'all oh. think Zion out of there? And y'all ain't tripping on these antics. This ain't nothing. This is just normal. Shit. I'll say this, bro. Don't let Zion. Don't let him go. Don't yeah, let him. Don't, don't let him get don't with Melo. I mean, I ain't, got, yeah. that's what I was saying, man. Like he mess around and go to Charlotte. That's that's gonna be a problem. I don't, I, don't, I believe in Zion, bro. Scoop Melo and Zion because before before he got hurt. They was second, damn near first in the West. Like they, you got him, Bi, and Drew. I mean, uh, not Drew, but uh, CJ. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a, that's a nice nucleus, but. I mean, at the same time, I don't know. Like, is Zion, do we really want to be there? Do he yeah. do he really want to play basketball anymore? Hell yeah, that's where he get the bag. You know he want to play. He already game. got the bag. He need, he might need a little more the way he's spending. <laughs> 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 need a few more contracts. The way he's spending, maybe, you know, maybe. Spending them bags. <laughs> doing it. That's what's crazy about him, though. Like he really is somebody we ain't seen before when he play. Yeah. But we also don't know who dog is. <laughs> We don't know this nigga, man. <laughs> that, that freaky, bro. You got to relax, man. Pause. All right. <laughs> All right, man. It's a, it's a lot more we can get into with the league, man. What I'm missing, man? I feel like there's a couple things I'm missing that I ain't talked about, man. We're like, They saying that Bradley Bill might go to the Celtics. <sighs> so where that lead Jalen Brown? That's, if I'm Jalen. Three teams trade. Jalen Brown, are, what would you do? You trying to get out of there first or you just trying to get that, that – that extension, that super max extension. If I'm Jay LeBron, yeah. super max me. <laughs> yeah, super real. max me, then get rid of me. I don't care. I'll, I'll go in December. You think they're going <laughs> to give it to him, though? He deserve it. He deserve yeah. it, for, in my opinion. He deserves it. I think Jason Tatum is the best player on that team. I know y'all disagree with me. You know what I'm saying? But I still think Jason Tatum is is like that. I think, after this, I think after this year, it's more up in the air than it's ever been. Like, I mean, yeah, I know yeah. you like, yeah, like no, no, but I'm, true. but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm definitely like a fan of Jason Tatum. Okay. Like, like when he get going, like he, he elite, he crazy. You yeah, know what I'm nah, saying? But sure. I yeah. think uh, Brown, Jalen Brown, good. yeah, it's just as good and more like consistent at what he does. And if he did have a different role where he could be the first option. He, he may dry, be more bro. consistent, you know. And what them saying? turnovers he was getting off that left hand wouldn't happen. Cause yeah, he was like used to it. It'd yeah. Did you normal. see like on internet, on the internet when they made like that a minute, two minute like reel of him turning the ball over? But that's yeah, just that's you bullshit. trying to force something, get something going. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, because you what I'm getting saying? the ball late because Jason Tatum. Had yeah, it. yeah. I would love to see Jalen Brown here, bro. Like I think, running the show. I don't know if he. And would, that's the uh, thing. He'll come here. Detroit got to understand man. who will come here and who and ain't who, with us. Exactly. Jalen Brown is like a, a – he thinks different. He different, so he yeah, would, this, yeah. this would fit his vibe. Yeah, come here. He would find a nice little spot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, come reading here. books and, shit and all that. If you want to be – if you want to be – if you want to compete as a Piston, you got to know who f*** with you. Yeah. We ain't the Lakers, bro. So, uh, Carmelo Anthony announced his retirement. I, I don't like when players announce their retirements when they – you know what I'm saying? It's I feel gonna, like – Hey, this is going to be a good segue. Like that. Yeah. I'm really tall. I'm really nice. I really do my research. I'm really out here studying. Like, how can I get better, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Melo. <laughs> oh, hilarious, man. So Melo had a story career. Melo, I ain't gonna lie. I I f with Melo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's I f with his game. Um, I f with what he represents. I know he be with the five percenters and all that. He rocked the seven on his hats. I I f with that. But I feel like with everybody, they got flaws and characters and all that. Um, has it, have any other played with Melo nah, against that, him or like at a certain, certain point? Yeah, we played against Melo. <laughs> <laughs> what did that drink at? <laughs> what is that? Hey, yeah. no, okay, so no, for real, hey, real spill. So, um, we don't normally have, you know what I'm saying, Sids on the mic, you know what I'm saying, Paul. So, my thing is, is like, you was around a lot of situations in the league, you know what I'm saying? We can talk Brian, the, the Brian dunk, that's when the, the buzz first started, I feel like. The Melo situation, a lot of us, like myself, didn't know he was so tightly involved with that. Yeah. Um, even stuff with Steph, you know what I mean? So, give me some Melo stories. You know, give me a, give me one good Melo story you got the in the main, bag. The one that everybody talk about, yeah. man. What happened, man? What happened with that situation? All right, what's up, bro? Well, it started with KG when he had the <laughs> altercation with Melo. 
I Early, wasn't on the team then. Okay, earlier in the season. Early in the season, Boston, New York had a little confrontation, they, the Honey Nut Cheerio situation. That made the blogs and all that yeah. talk about how KG said. Yeah, I wasn't on the team Somebody yet. was your wife or something like yeah. that, talking about yeah. that power or something? No, he's, no you got to say the quote. Yo, what was it? Did he say, like, yo, yo, that's why your wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios? Yeah, or, that's, that's, or, that's what KG said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what he said. Or no, he didn't say that. I ain't never did he That's say? what was reported. That's yeah, what okay, was okay, reported. Okay, okay. But we all know KG is like the top notch GOAT of trash talk. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't Jordan, on the team yet, G- GP, Jim. right. I got traded later to that team. We playing them in the playoffs. Yeah. They kicking our asses like 2-0. We playing game three. We about to win game three. The momentum changing a little bit. Yeah. It's one second on the clock. <laughs> We in New York, so you know we feeling good. KG and Paul Pierce old, so we right. ain't supposed to beat them. Exactly. KG hype us up. He win the game. It's like one second left on the clock. I say, KG, go shoot that too. We about to win. I'm just hype on the bench. Yeah. Melo turn around and say, if he shoot that, I beat your. Ass. What? When he got you. Up. Got me up. He look at you what? out of eye, out of eye, and said that. So yeah, you like man. He in the game. I'm yeah, out the game. Right. He turned around, say that to me. I'm like, be who? <laughs> That's what y'all seeing. What they thinking? I'm saying, I f- your wife or KG f- your wife. Yeah. What they saying? I'm saying that. I'm saying, be who? I beat your. Ass. Right. That's what's being said. Then Raymond felt a little fat ass come. <laughs> <laughs> And his little <laughs> make it look worse. Yeah. So this is around the era where social media is changing. Right. That that whole was the first time where social media was kind of telling the stories of series before the like actual the real shit came out. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So when after that shit happened, <laughs> damn. The GM of the Danny Ainge coming to me while we still on the bus. He like, did you really say that? I'm not even giving this. Attention. Yeah. I'm saying, like, bro, why would you think I said some shit like that? Yeah. Like, cause that's what's coming out. Like, you said he, you, you know what I'm saying, KG. I'm not even thinking. I was like, like I was appalled that this was going on, but it was social media, so it was so big, it was blowing up crazy. Ain't never yeah. happened before. Where yeah. like the yeah. story get out before yeah. the story. Like, yeah, like it was yeah. so out of control, I couldn't even recover. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. They never even going into the next game because the series was still going on. The reporters never asked me if I said it. The, uh, but I go up to Melo during the game or the next game like, why you? Because I'm they thrashing me. Everybody yeah. talking about me. Like, you're a bench player talking this shit, all that. i like, Melo, damn, why you? Why you why Got them people why, thinking why I said say that. that. Yeah, you know yeah, I didn't say that. He ain't, you know, he was ignoring. He just act like he don't know what was happening. But that always, you know, a lot of shit that happened yeah. in my career really. And me not, you know, me willing to be like, man, whatever y'all think I said, I said. Gotcha. Me being on that made it even worse because you never really got the story. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that whole shit, though, with Melo, it rubbed me. It, it irritates me to this day, for real. But on, should, but on some, yeah, but on some, like, how do you think, you know, because I never really, at, like, now that you at this age, because, like, this is crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, not, not to the point, like, he, he a good dude and he a competitive dude, yeah. but even me being his brother, I can't really, like, around them time, I couldn't really ask him. Shit. He'd be like, Joe, what the fuck you on, man? You know what I'm saying? Just so, like, now that he older and mature, it's like, like, how do you feel that that, like, you know what I'm saying, affected your career or did or didn't? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it affected it because people just was like, you know, you somebody that's always on your own time. So when you in an industry like that and a corporation that yeah. you got to go with whatever people saying, it just made people more like just uncomfortable to be around me because they knew I was going to say what I feel or I ain't worried about how people look what y'all at you. think of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all rock out with however y'all think of me. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? But it do affect your career because – I'm not in total control. Mm. I ain't the one that's making the plays or telling you know what I'm saying. So, right. Yeah. So it just, put a little. It put an unnecessary cloud or something that yeah, didn't need to be there. Yeah. And if, like if you'd have knew about social media at the time, you'd have probably jumped in front of the story quick as hell because you yeah. knew like 
the, how the story ends, but yeah. it's like at the time. We're going out, yeah, apologize, and even though I didn't say it, but it, the fact that I knew I didn't say that, I'm not apologizing. Yeah. Right, you know, but it don't help though either, right? Because now I'm in the story, the story, the story, the big as hell, you know. Damn, so it is and, what it is. But and it's my like, the type of if the story, the story, he'll pour gasoline on that. Bitch. <laughs> for sure, think what y'all want to think, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But now, now we know yeah. the real, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and we know the real and how it happened, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and it ain't like you want that type of time because you play. You never, yeah, game. you never, it's nothing never been really like that I've done that's been crazy. You just always, yeah. they just knew. I was a person that wore my emotion on my sleeves. Like, you couldn't just say anything to me and I didn't, re even if I didn't respond, you could see it in my body language that I thought it was stupid. Yeah. I was that person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I never was nobody that was going against the team or the organization. It was just, I was my own person at the end of the day, too. Facts. But that ain't how shit work if you ain't you gotta the man off, man yeah. you know what i'm saying it's a pecking order in this yeah. you gotta come off yes a boss yeah that gotta be your demeanor that's what yeah. they think your demeanor might be Damn. Yeah. Man, so now you at a stage in your career like i think like what 34 you know what i'm saying yeah. so you still got you know what i'm saying some gas left in the tank you yeah. know what i'm saying for sure so like how like how would you want to see it in if you you know speaking things into existence what you wanted to play out like i mean i deserve to play on the pistons for sure i yeah. still want to play for the home team okay but you know, the way, you know, we, we at the cred right now. Right. This is where we hosting No Blood, No Vow. We here. Afazan. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah. this is just as dope as being 13, 15 years straight in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So Hell yeah. Sir. It, I can't I, I can't ask for no better no better way. But I like what you said though. But yeah, I can bust I you still deserve bust you deserve to play for the business, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That would be that would be like fire. I feel like a nice Storybook yeah. ending for oh, the long time. We, we, we kid, promoted bro. that all last season. Yeah, man. we did. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying? Know, but I know now we got Monty Williams here. You know what I'm saying? I know his son is going to Brother Rice. We covered oh, that we up. extensively. So, of course, we'll get his <laughs> eye. And, um, pulling up. Yeah. You know. But before the season, though, I want to see something happen, man. All right. So, I'm going to take it back. I think this year was 2010. NCAA tournament. Okay. Um, I believe that was your sophomore year, right? Xavier, yeah. man. Let's talk about that game against Kansas State because I felt like that was a, a iconic game. Um, yeah. I felt like for people that didn't know you, it like really solid, like put you on the map. Like this game, yeah. everybody was talking about. It was nationally talked about. Um, I was overseas at the time, man. We stayed mm -hmm. up to about three o'clock in the morning watching, watching. this dog. I'm in the living room yeah. going crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel like he had the baggy shorts on. Shots, bro. Baggy, baggy yeah, shorts, t-shirt, short. bro. I was just like, bro. <laughs> He was going to work, and I was just like, man, from the crib, man, he putting on, dog, killing these boys. It was just a, I mean, if you ain't, if you wasn't there, man, or seen it, it was just like yeah. one of the moments that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that lasts forever. Man, can you just talk about that for a minute? Because I, I never, you know what I'm saying, yeah. really heard you talk about that experience. Yeah. Well, I, this is where I give Joe, my brother, the most credit. Because after the, the LeBron dunk was the first time after that people start having expectations on me. Because I ain't playing high school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So after the dunk, I started having expectations. So that year going into Xavier, I talked to him a lot, and he used to always hit me to some before it happened. So going into the tournament, this is after the whole year, going into the tournament, you know, I know I'm about to start. I know I'm about mm -hmm. to play in front of the, the world. Yeah. You know, my brother telling me, like, this is what we wanted. You healthy, and you get to play in front of everybody. It ain't no guarantee that you're going to kill, but you all we want is that you're healthy yeah. and you about to play in front of everybody. So him saying that just cleared it up for me to be like, bet this is all I want. Right. To be healthy yeah, yeah, yeah. and to kill. So going into all that whole tournament, it was just like this opportunity don't come. Even though it was my first time in that opportunity, I recognized mm -hmm. that everybody don't get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I think that – mindset allowed me to take advantage of it for sure Damn. and that whole you know it just started going it just started going as you know god planted it to go yeah. for real i that got i got hell, i gotta bro. step in and talk about it a little bit man because <laughs> dope though because at the time uh i was with the uh la defenders so that was the lakers g league team mm -hmm. yeah. uh so I was talking to some of the like scouts and 
like with the you know the Lakers and shit like that. So I'm like, uh, should he come out this year? And and to be honest, they was like, no. Nah. They was like, no, nah, because he can be in the same position you in. You know what I'm saying? Because like I had like you know I was with the Lakers, but whatever, whatever. Then I was I was killing, and I'm like, man, y'all better better call me up. I'm killing. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, like they 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 wasn't calling me up, and I end up going like I end up uh, taking a contract to China. You know what I'm saying? And this is building up to like the uh, the NCAA. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard them say that, I was like, man, f- that we out. Like no, oh, like yeah. telling him like like I'm not telling him, but that's what I'm telling. Him. Like no, we out because if he stay another year, this is how this. Get uh-huh. they just keep criticizing your game more uh-huh. and more. It don't else. matter yeah. what the f- I'm like, nah, this you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh he happened to call me and uh at the time he didn't mention it, but he was supposed to win uh player of the year. Player of the year. They you know, they didn't give him player of the year because of like political reasons. He had just transferred mm-hmm. from Indiana, yeah, yeah, now yeah. he this is his first year and he basically took over the whole conference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they playing politics. They not gonna give him. And he was mad about that. Shit, so he called me like, "Man, this bullshit." Da 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 da. I'm like, "How your legs feel though?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "How your legs feel?" He's like, man, they feel like he kind of kind of surprised. Like, yeah, they feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, right. I'm like, you healthy? He like, yeah. I'm like, go kill then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, Nick, because I knew when I was, like, when you going through all that bullshit in college uh-huh. and your coach halfway on bullshit, yeah, sometimes yeah. you forget you living in the moment you dreamed yeah, of. Yeah, you know right, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I Forget the most basic yeah, and simple yeah. shit. Coach Cal, crazy, yeah. Coach Cal, that's why Coach Cal is one of the greatest because when they get to playoff time, I mean, the our tournament time, yeah. he like, go have fun. Mm-hmm. Most coaches don't know to even tell their players, like, yeah. this is why we recruited you. We yeah. in the NCAA. Uh-huh. Go have fun. Mm-hmm. So that was my message to him. Like, fuck all that shit. Yeah. You healthy, go have fun. Yeah. Go the, ball. Yeah. Still you know stick what I'm with saying? To this day, though. That's, yeah. that's the know. advantage yeah. I had that's my crazy. whole career, though, yeah. was that I was behind him, but I was only two years behind him. Mm-hmm. So everything that he learning and going through. You just getting that shit right He throwing it yeah. right to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh, that it allowed me, like, even though, like, even though I didn't play in high school, I was still knowing, seeing the shit he was going through, and look, it was like easy. Like, okay, all I need to do is go to play a killing AU, get a scholarship, and then go to the <laughs> right school that's giving me minutes in college. Yeah, I can get to the league. <laughs> that was my mindset. Though. So time out. So time out. Time out. We're gonna go back. Cause high school, I know you went to like a few different high schools, right? So you went to like CMA or something, right? Yeah. He went to Renaissance yeah. first. first. I went to okay. Renaissance first, and then CMA. So you weren't playing. You weren't I ain't playing. Play. I played a half a season out of four years. Damn. So where was your half a season at? Where you played at? At CMA. Okay. And you played a half. I in played a half in Renaissance JV. JV. My yeah. ninth grade year. Got you. So how? Yeah. So so you just killed an AAU and got Indiana. I, I went, went to prep, prep school, school though. Oh, okay. The I one reclassified. Okay. Mm. Went to prep school. I played an extra year at AAU. Got you. That's when I got and hot. Got, and, yeah, you yeah know, okay. Like that. And then it was so, Indiana then. So exactly. to bring it even forward, it's like he he was killing at Indiana. Mm-hmm. Then his coach got fired. So then. And that was uh, Samson? That was yeah. Coach Ralph Samson. Samson. Okay. He transferred. So then he had to sit out a year. Yeah. And then when he sat out a year going into it, you know, he talked to his coach like, yo, I'm trying to be at the Brian CP camp. Yeah. So that's yeah. how he ended up at the Brian camp and dunked on Brian. Yeah. And that's Go good. ahead. Yeah, that's that's good that shit. for the world. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, cause, oh, yeah. I like how you man. fast forwarded me up yeah. like that. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's when I first got hip for real. You yeah. feel me? I'm like, what the f? You from the D? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. So, mm. okay, so what was that? That was a little camp you was at. And what happened? Like, he was in the land, you seen the eyes got big, or you was just hooping? Like, what happened? Yeah, no, nah, he. He jumped late. I, always, I I don't tell the story that much, but now he jumped late when I was already jumping, mm. and I was surprised he was gonna jump. 
But it was just don't jump late though. Yeah, that's a no. Don't jump late. Don't jump late though. You were good putting in that room, Brownie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Yeah, that's a no. Don't jump late though. You were good putting in that room, Brownie. Don't jump late. We ain't so take me through the dunk. So he so he dunked late, but what kind of dunk was it? Because I ain't seen the video. It was just a. I was high though. I was high, but it was just a simple plain. No, we ain't gonna say that because <laughs> look, like as a as a basketball player, when you know, like if you coming from the right side, like when you come in, like if you go right and you go dunk it like that, it's yeah. easy to get up. Yeah. But if you go down the middle in the rim right here that's and you tough. jump and you dunk it too, that's that's yeah. hard. As that's I was tough. young though. Yeah. You know what I'm young. saying? Yeah. So tough as hell. we ain't gonna downplay the way. Yeah, I was young and athletic for sure. So it was down the middle, two hands. This oh, yeah. front of rim, two. Yeah, yeah, he went like this and and dunked it kind of like that. Oh, you know oh, what I'm saying? Like a little oh, twist. No, nah, it was only, but yeah, it was it was just at a time where Twitter just got cracking. It was just starting, yeah. Twitter got cracking, so the people knew about it that wasn't there before I even got back to my hotel. Damn. So you, it was just at a great time when it happened, but people see that's the thing. People that happened so long ago. People think that I had like a historic. Or a storied high school career, and shit. right? But it really, I wasn't known until that moment. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, that was the moment. Even I killed as Indiana, but people don't know. People don't talk about that Indiana. Shit. They right. talk about from Xavier on. Yeah, you know what Dog, that, that, I don't know if we can talk about this, but that yo, that Indiana team y'all had was dang. Y'all had yeah. a good squad. Samson, man. man, Samson still coaching to this day. Coach Samson. What was Samson? Yeah, and that's that's what when it comes to these young people picking schools and coaches, you gotta pick somebody that's gonna give you a chance. Like, if I'm sh if I'm winning all the conditioning drills, if I'm killing in practice, mm -hmm. I deserve minutes. No matter if I'm a freshman or a six yeah. year senior, that's what Samson do. Like, hold yeah. up, nah, he ready. Let's talk about some real then. You know what I'm saying? When we dig into that, you know what I'm saying? Because at the time, I was at Kentucky while he was at Indiana. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the way my career went, like, as far as what I was under, it was more like I, I think the coach didn't relate to young black kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. certain things that we did at Kentucky was, like, over, like, analyzed and over punished mm -hmm. to where you're not trying to guide a kid to their destination or to their dreams, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I think Samson uh, did a great job. But at the yeah. time, I think you you were about to get suspended for some, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And how did how did that kind of go? Because I don't remember exactly he, he, how I went. I got suspended. I got suspended for felony drug test. I got three games suspended. Luckily, it was three games before we played y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and I got suspended for them three games. And then the point guard ended up getting suspended after I got came back from suspension. And even though I got suspended for three games, yeah. when I came back, I started Damn. the next game. And now so that goes to show what type of person Samson right. was. Yeah. You know and, what I'm saying? And and, and at the time. That's what I was trying to express to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, he yo, real, you, yeah. you failed a drug test and you came back and you were starting? Yeah. That yeah. wouldn't happen where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I probably would have been kicked off the team mm -hmm. yeah. just not knowing, like, dog, you still a young, you're still a young oh, kid. Culture. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that was. Shout out to Samson, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that, you know what I'm saying? Because he sure. gave him his punishment to realize, like, yo, you can't be Ooh. moving like this. But this is the punishment. Yeah. It ain't gonna linger. It ain't yeah, gonna linger. It ain't, yeah, and well, that's yeah. usually what these people, these people do at these universities. They let it linger and they, and they take just, advantage of you and say like, he ain't ready. But really, I just don't like the kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what they they use made. that. Yeah, yeah. and Sasson is really like he give you an opportunity to grow as a man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's got you. you gotta and you gotta pick the right place for that. It's hard to because they lying to you all the time. Yeah. You gotta try to how to identify that. it at a young age. Just like how do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Because 
And I'm seeing, I'm in. When Tubby Smith and all these people coming to our houses to talk to him, I'm oh, in you, that. Are you chilling? I'm seeing yeah, that. Back. It's like, yeah. okay. I'm seeing that. Uh. And so I'm knowing what's going on as it. So, like, Samson, when I went to Indiana, yeah. Samson was on probation. He right. never seen me play until I stepped on that campus. He just mm. knew from his assistant coaches that he was sending to see me. He was trusting them enough. Cindy? No, uh, Myers. Myers, okay. Myers. Myers. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't yeah. know. But Cindy, shout out to Cindy. Cindy, right? no, Cindy was the, Cindy took the fall. Yeah. Send off <laughs> took the fall for mm. the whole allegations. He had some real around. Send off. He had some real <laughs> hey, no, they was a whole mob, man. <laughs> they was a whole mob. That's <laughs> real, though. He took, it, he took the fall way before the allegations came about. Mm. Fired. Sendoff had to get fired, and they was hoping it was going to die down. Then yeah. it came back up four months later. They took it man. out on Samson. Yeah. All that, but... Yeah, Cindy was the, the Cindy, fall guy. The, the, the real basketball league. guys got him, though, bro. Yeah. They got him. Like, he the head coach at Kent now. So, like, yeah. Cindy good. Yeah, yeah, that's my man's, bro. That's some, that's hey, some real shit, yeah, yeah, That's sure. real yeah. do real things. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing of ours, you used by loyalty. You know yeah. Oh, Omerita. You but, know. hey, niggas don't be one to, like, <laughs> don't be one to go through the real. Niggas want the shortcut to the to the top, you know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, as you get older, when yeah. you like, you hear stories play out like that, like, yeah. that's fire. Samson still coaching, and he wherever he at, yeah. possibly be back top, into the NBA. Top, top five program, yeah. top five program. Yeah. Then you talking about send off who's Just the head coach at Kent State, bro. like real top. do real yeah. things, man. So when y'all young tap in, man, we ain't vouching for some of these, <laughs> man. <laughs> For real, Some right? People don't deserve to get vouched for no, for sure. Man. I got one more. All right, before this is my Go crazy, I gotta bro. ask this question, man. Before we get off too far off topic, because you know what I'm saying we all came up together. We all came up around the same time, man. Oh. And uh just watching y'all come up was like, you know what I mean? It was just it was dope as hell. Cause you know, I'm I know Ralph from Hunter's oh, Point. Y'all yeah. used to pull up at Hunter's Point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Little kid. Little, little kid. kid. Little you know kid. what I'm saying? Like Talk about that game, bro. Like, cause when I watched it, that's what I thought about. Just seeing y'all when y'all was at Hunter's Point, just like dog. And then it fast forward all the way to Indiana versus Kentucky. Yeah. These these two iconic schools, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Like in basketball, but we just talking about two kids from the west side of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? That you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They made it. They yeah. made it. And now y'all about to play against each other. Yeah. On the I, I got it. Scale, like bro. I got it. Like cause I want to give. Like the the proper light to it, you know okay, what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Yeah. Despite the what went, at, like you know what I'm saying. At the end of it, I was I was a senior at yeah. that time and uh, was going through it. I was going was through going it, through it you know, with, with, the, yeah. with that coach. Yeah, I was going through it, but it was like it was like like you know sprinkles of daylight while mm -hmm. I was going through it that I thought me and him was really about to like compete on national t television. Yeah, yeah. But even without that, I have I at that point, even though we lived in the same house, I haven't played against him competitively. Ever since, for real. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, since we was like like maybe like twelve young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like when I when I got on that court at that time and I and like this when we was in the same house together, this was five, seven. Six four now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was he was at Hargrave for a whole year. I didn't see him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So we stepping on the court, and this like I'm looking at him. This shit, I'm like, it's my brother, dog. Like because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like it's Kentucky, Indiana, moving different. Like he more explosive. He like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I remember one time he got on the break, dog, and he took off from like, he took off outside the lane, and my and my. Romeo tried to swipe it, and he took that ball and he put it over here, and laid that. And he oh, ran back it. down the court and he, he said, "He said, Joe, you better tell them." <laughs> I said, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, "A time, a, a time out came." You know what I'm saying? I was mad at this. I was like, "Man, what the f think you can talk to me like that?" I'm mad. <laughs> so I go to that. <laughs> I go back to the uh, huddle and Ramel come like, 
You heard what this told Perry? Like, you know what I'm saying? He was talking crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think he told Perry, like, man, tell Perry to shut up. I know that You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just, like, everybody just come to me telling me about my brother because he busting out <laughs> You feel me? Damn. I'm just oh, ain't saying shit. I'm like, man, y'all I'm in my head. I'm like, <laughs> I ain't about to say shit, man. Like, this damn, was, but it was bro. like, it was different, though, because it was like, damn, this then really got so much better that I can't even predict what this about to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't even predict this. Even know what he yeah, got like right what? Now. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> no bag is like yeah. you know what I'm saying when he, when he did that <laughs> shit and went and laid that bitch and was like, you better tell these. I'm like, you surprised? Like, in a whole like, different bag. Man, like what? Was, the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and I was hearing, and you know, and on the other side, I was hearing. What he was going through at the time, I think moms told me that, like, she was going through how you was, he was about to sit you, and then he just started you right before the game, and then he said, you checking my brother, your, your yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I was hearing the shit he was going through, so it was, like, it was dope because we was about to do this. Yeah, yeah. But it was also, like, I know what my nigga going through, yeah. and he was going through a lot at the time, you yeah. know what I'm saying, dealing with Gillespie crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a whole different story. Yeah, like as that, far that's as, wild what he went through. With yeah, Gillespie. like because even just just to sprinkle it on it a little bit, it's like I was a young and when you was when you were young, like, I was probably like twenty twenty one. Yeah, like we went hard as like practicing crazy. Then I got into I got into it with my coach, and he and he kicked me off the team for about like a week. Like it, like it, and so you know how that college. Is like I think it was either winter break or whatever yeah. when everybody go home and you got like a week off. So yeah. it was like a week off until we played these. Things. And he kicked me off probably like four or five days before he played these. Things. Wow. So, but also like, so the day before the game, he said, like, I get back on the team. It's, it's a wild, crazy shit. I could talk about that, but I get back on the team. So I'm like, oh, I'm back on the team. Then he said, I'm starting. I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm about to go at this, but it's still like, I don't know that we not all on one accord. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I didn't have my legs. I didn't know I didn't have my legs. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? When you, you're all in wild yeah. practice, but then you, Did that you whole week play? off, yeah. I'm thinking I'm getting my legs back by that whole week off, but I'm really losing my legs. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got on the break one time. I tried yeah. to dunk that. Bitch. I'm like, you lost that bitch like two, three yeah, times. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I can't even dunk this bitch. You know what I'm damn. saying? Like, you know, but that's my whole other shit. Yeah, but yeah, so it was it was dope, though. And the way, you know, you just think about your parents in the moments. Mm -hmm. You see how yeah. they mm -hmm. excited about it and shit, So you realize a little bit, like, how dope it is. But mm -hmm. it for sure was, it's like now I can't even, I it forget was, how big and yeah, and it was crazy, yeah. yeah from the outside man. looking in, bro, it was like that shit was an iconic moment for the city, bro. Like to seeing that, like Indiana versus Kentucky already yeah. like a rivalry, bro. Like it was like you yeah. know, it's a basketball rivalry, but just to see y'all two on that stage, man. Can you imagine court, how that how crazy that was though? Like that was Kentucky versus Indiana, one of the biggest rivalries, yeah. and my brother just went nuts. Yeah. And I'm sitting on the bench. They up by like 30, 40. Jeez. This is my little brother. Would, they, hey, the baddest, the baddest in <laughs> on campus hollered at me after that day. <laughs> 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 hey, I ain't even no guy. Yeah. I, went, I was walking up the steps to a club, the whole team walking in. She was like, good game, George. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Oh. Hey. Not you. <laughs> like, what? I ain't even ready for you. <laughs> I knew it was up there, though. Know? That's fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy even for me being like the older brother. That was the first time I I was a senior, but that was the first time I played at Indiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I walk into the arena, man, and you know how Indiana, they got them stripes. Them stripes. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, stripes I'm looking yeah. at them like, damn, that's my little brother in them. It's like, Strikes, bro. and Jeez. the swag was crazy. Yeah. Like, that was the first time they'd start doing the rivalry at the home in a way. Because you remember they used to always do it neutral. Yeah. That year we played was the first year they started doing it at, on the campus. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. Like, yeah, that shit was crazy. And that boy was at Indiana? Yeah, uh, it was, it was at, at Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. yeah. They was in that 
Jordan Spatter. <laughs> Jordan Spatter. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, that's what we are. It was crazy, bro. Yeah. Whole arena was changing. Yeah. It was yeah, great. Bro. Jordan's better. They said they sing that. I heard that bitch on the bus leaving that. Bitch. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Let me get the fuck out this. Bitch. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Indiana. I ain't coming oh, back. <laughs> All right, man. I got a couple more questions. You know Go ahead, saying? shoot. I, I know we got. I want to talk about the runs. I ain't been able to hit all the runs. I've been seeing the highlights. I know all y'all been at the runs, though. I've been seeing firsthand. But before we get into that, I know Jordan played with, like, a lot of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Like, KG was, like, my favorite player. Paul Pierce was my favorite player at a time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I seen him go crazy on my birthday. He had, like, 50 versus Nets. And um, Paul Pierce and KG was in the news recently. You know what I'm saying? Uh <laughs> It was a live stream. <laughs> the mm-hmm. KG and them was on. And Paul showed up lit with, you know, a little Russian prostitute or whatever that was we had with him. I don't know. They, he living, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all see that? Y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, peeped that? Definitely. Uh, hey, they so, got this website. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got this website. <laughs> come on, Lord. That joke was, yeah, come on, Lord. Come on. Hey, that joke was hilarious to me. That was the funniest. I see it so in the longest time. Man. Who else, my dogs? Uh, Steph. Steph, one of my favorite players after a while. I ain't with Steph for a minute, but I had to give him his props Ooh. at a certain point. What was it like being there at the beginning of that whole, what we see today as the Splash Brothers and the Dynasty? Like, like what was it like? Man, when I was with the Wizards, I never used to go get extra shots up. When I got... You know, when I was in Boston, because I used to always be mad that I wasn't playing as much as I thought I should play. Yeah. When I got with the Warriors, I used to see how much, like, Steph and Clay would put, you know, they'd get 30. And they'd be so excited the next day in practice to shoot, just shoot some practice shots. Yeah. And I used to look at them and be like, damn, like, you so excited to just shoot these shots after you <laughs> yeah. killed in the game. And it made me be like, all right. Let me let me start locking back in on just the love of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get shots up after practice, even if I ain't playing. Because if I do get in, because it was a point when I was with the Wizards and I wasn't getting extra shots up that I'd be in the game and I'd have a wide open shot and I'd be like, damn, I might not make this. Mm, and that you. thought lets yeah. you know you ain't as confident enough. You know what right. I'm saying? So they really showed me, like, love the game again, even though they was getting the opportunity. So that's why they was so excited to shoot and, and ready, all that. Yeah, but trying to be ready. I gotta lock in. I gotta lock in like that too. So I that's that's that. what I take from him all the time. Like I didn't mind sit. I didn't mind playing behind stuff. He was, a, you know, what I'm saying like, you even if I think I'm better, in. like, no, nah, you cold enough for me to be like, I'll play behind you. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. how I always felt about stuff. So let's get into high school. You know what I'm saying? It's what we do. Um. I want to give props, and I know y'all know a lot, a lot more than I do. But about the Nike Top 100, yeah, yeah. we got a few players in it um, that we know and love that you know been on the show. We got Darius Acuff, uh, Trey McKinney, Macari Moore. Yeah. Anybody I'm missing? Lawson. Greg Lawson. Greg Lawson. Greg Lawson. Yeah, Greg Lawson. Usual. Damn. Damn. The ones, the ones we've been talking about. So Nike, mm-hmm. see what we see. So what's your thoughts on that? Like, what are, what are some of the things they had to go through, Joe, and like, you know, you know, to be a part of it, and like, how does that work? You said to be a part of it, like yeah. the Nike. Yeah, like. I mean, I think the, like. the 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 landscape of high school basketball has changed as far as like what I know you had to go through to be invited to that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't even know. This like the Nike Top 100. Is that the same thing we used to go to? Like when when I was in high school, Nike. Yeah, they just switched it. It it's like a, a tournament or something. It's like, I don't know. They name it different. But, okay. but it's really uh, the same type of vibe, though. It might be. I don't know. Okay. I, I wasn't there, but. And that's top 100 regardless of class and all yeah, that? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. So, uh, we got our dogs in it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, from all the responses I got back, you know, all the, the top dogs from Michigan went out there and did their thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Acuff led it in scoring. Okay. So, you know, that's what? great. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he let it in scoring. So Trade it was like it. a tournament type of vibe? Is it multiple teams? I, I don't or? know how it breaks down. I know I know a tournament ends up being like, okay, you yeah. know, uh, a part of the camp. 
it was multiple high level scouts like reporting that you know what I'm saying saying great things about uh, A Cuff and Trey like I seen that all over Twitter like on a consistent right. basis. But uh, also seeing like Macari and Greg getting like offers recently as yeah. well, man. So offers been rolling in. Yeah, it seems like they, they showcase they t- they talent on a uh, on a good scale, man. Uh, that class is dangerous, bro. I, honestly, Very I feel like Michigan that that is that the twenty five class. Yeah, they really could compete with any. And and from what I heard is they left there as far as A Cuff and Trey top ten in a class. I believe it. And they ain't start there. And they ain't so that's start beautiful. there. Beautiful. So that you know that that's crazy. They really put yeah, in yeah. some work this summer. You know, is this some real ones all across the country in twenty five? Like mm-hmm. uh, somebody's son, but I want I don't know if it's Bulls or somebody else. But the Bulls are twins. Bulls yeah. are twins. Yeah. So they in that. So it's yeah. a lot of and that you know EYBL Peace Jam coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be crazy. Uh, Jordan, like who you see, bro? Out of um, all these cats, like, like I'm, I'm gonna just go through some players, and you tell me what you feel about them. So, like, let's start with uh, Trey McKinney. What's your, what's your thoughts on his game, and what could it be? Anybody he remind you of, and you know, what I'm saying, what, what's the ceiling? He cold. I think it's important for him to keep going to places that give him the ball, just as much as A Cuff gonna have the ball. Yeah. But when it comes to his game, like, I mean, it, it looks so polished already, like. You be like, you know what I'm saying? You be kind of like, that, damn, bro. like, I don't know what to say because it's <laughs> yeah. so polished. For real. But you don't want to be just so strictly. A, the thing about it, when you a two guard, you're not the point. You a two guard. Right. So you're going to have the ball second. That's the yeah. difference with him versus Acuff. Could he play point guard? Could you see his game evolving? He could, that? yeah, he could. Let him go shoot yeah. shots and play mate. But a coach, yeah. you know, a coach ain't going to do that because they be like, you a two guard, mm-hmm. but really, no. Nah, you can go bring it up and do whatever it is you feel best for our team. Bro. And you know, you know what's you. crazy about like right now is like I was telling Stout, like uh, Marcus Stout, play uh, coach for the uh, the Pistons G League. Yeah. But we were, you know, we was talking about Trey McKinney, and before uh, Jamal Murray had this outburst in the playoffs. Stout called me and was like, yo, do Trey McKinney play like Jamal Murray? Murray. I was like, you know what? That's the perfect, like, uh, comparison. Not, you know, I'm just talking about the style of play, the way he moved the ball, the the way he scored. I'm not talking about, like, identical as far as – Yeah, the way they look. But that's the way Trey McKinney manipulates a game. It's like Jamal Murray. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a coach has to see that. That's what makes him – can make him special Big in facts. the NBA. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a point guard personally. You know huh? what I'm saying? I, I want to see him play the point. I mean, and I feel like he did a lot. He like he controlled the ball for Orchard Lake Yeah. 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 And and I want to continue to see that as well, yeah. like you were saying. You but that's I mean? how Jamal Murray is. He'll play yeah. the point, but then – if another guard come in and he want to score more, he'd be in the two. You know what I'm saying? Yoke, do his thing. Yeah. Get eight, nine assists. Yeah. yeah. But a coach like yeah. Malone know, like, yeah. that Jamal Murray is a point guard. No matter how much he out here looking for a shot, he looking for a shot because he got it going. And yeah. this other team is scared to death of what he going to yeah. do. Right. <laughs> yeah. But that's what make that's the advantage. This other team is scared to death. If I got – like, that's why I always felt strong about me. Like, I got this other team scared of me. So, coach, even if you ain't – even if I ain't shooting, put me on the court because I'll scare them. Yeah, that yeah. enough is a loan to these other four to kill. Mm-hmm. That's what it's – you know what I'm saying? That's what that shit about. Yeah. Darius Acuff. Go uh, ahead. I feel like Darius Acuff got, like, a little it factor on him where he just know how to get it done and just – Figures out how to win games that I didn't think he was going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what's your thoughts on A Cuff's game and, you know, what can Cheeks do on the next level? He he is is it's endless what he could do because he going to have the ball. So, he going to have the ball. He control the game. His pace, he, he got a controlled pace, and he can score at will. And his swagger scares the other the people away like his so yeah. his, squ- his swagger scares the other team so he got everything going for him where it's like he in control sky's the limit yeah he I in like control. what you said about his pace because his pace is what i feel like is like yeah. it's like because i went to the game that 
Calipari Perry gave him a scholarship back. Yeah, after. yeah. He gave him that scholarship because they the family wasn't supposed to win that game. Mm. The Indiana Indiana Heat team was better than the family, but Acuff was the best player on the floor. Mm. Got it and done. he controlled it. Yeah. He controlled it. It was like, whatever y'all do, y'all gotta see me. Right. And and he was doing yeah. everything. He was rebounding. He was blocking shots. He was dropping assists. He was getting to the hole. And then he hit the open jump shot. And you could tell Calipari, somebody that know hoop was just like, nah. That's real. Yeah, I'm about to go yeah. shake this shit up. He <laughs> right. won. And that's what was dope about Calipari is he offered him that scholarship after that game when uh, Cheeks wasn't even top. 20 right. top 10 yeah, and was. that changed the whole course of hot the everybody summer, the whole summer yeah everybody was looking at the the yeah. the you know all the players yeah the whole landscape like, yeah, yeah the whole yeah, landscape changed after Kyler Perry cuz hey we got to keep it real Michigan State didn't offer him until no, after yeah, nobody Kyler Perry. Did, yeah Michigan did yeah. Michigan but did yeah. but you know what I'm saying that like I seen Rutgers offer both of them Mm-hmm. Yeah, like shout to out that? to Smoke over there. I see, I see yeah, you so, working, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you working, baby. Rutgers <laughs> and Providence got offered them both. Man, Smoke, Smoke and Rutgers, bro. Like, I, like you know, what I'm saying if I'm not, I just would love for them to both be in situations where you know, what I mean, they they both can be who they are. And they showed that they play well, well together. together, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm saying they showed like, that man. they can coexist together, and I like that I, I for sure. Cause we was we was low key trying to put them against each other, yeah. During high school, mm-hmm. not purposely, it was just happening like that because they were the best. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. want to so, see it. Yeah. yeah, and they and this shit then played out to where now they f- with each other heavy, and they yeah. top ten. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. bro. That's fire. Man. But I still want to see them go head up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still gotta see it. <laughs> going, we yeah. gotta see it. They yeah. still want to see it. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, get it. We ain't got yeah. our official, okay, the I hear you. Vince. No blood, no foul. After Zion, I hear you. Run, you know what I'm saying for the high schoolers and all that. No, nope. he's got some pro level runs. Yeah. We got going on. Yeah. They've they been fired. Vince been pulling up, getting coverage. Yeah, they really at undisclosed locations. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get an invite. I ain't get a couple invites. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pulling up from now on though. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but I seen I, I seen you balling in a couple of them runs. Anybody you seeing? Anybody like like what's the vibes like in them like pro level runs? Because I mean it looks serious. Yeah, I mean I like I like the intensity. I like the seriousness of which, you know what I'm saying? They it got it's going about it like show up on time. We're gonna do some workouts before the runs. Yeah, to see if y'all to let y'all know like that y'all care because it don't matter how cold you is if you ain't giving these folks what they want. They gon' right. they gon' end you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so quickly. I just love the intensity of which everybody from Vince filming to these players playing to right. the coaches coaching and all that. Mm-hmm. It's it's a new level of which you gotta hold yourself accountable, man. Hold yourself accountable out here. And I've been saying and hearing that it's like a lot of a lot of real decision makers, you know yeah. what I'm saying, that can influence, you know, yeah. coaches to give you a bag here, yeah. there, overseas. And, you know, it's just important that the top-notch level players pull up yeah. and take it serious, you yeah, know Yeah, that they know that. Take it yeah. serious and understand, like, this ain't, you know, get out your head. Get out your mm-hmm. own head mm-hmm. and be willing to find yourself in this room. Hey, and I, I just want to highlight something, man, because my – Spitting over here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This coming from a, y'all heard him. Y'all let some mm-hmm. fly by, man. This played a half a season in high school. Oh, no. yeah. That's this really like a motherfucking playground legend that made it bro. to the NBA. I didn't know that. Till I was doing my you know pregame research. Saying? I was doing my like, what? You feel me? <laughs> the CMA. So like. this is yeah. this is from the playground. That made it to the NBA that understand the professionalism <laughs> too now right. that's trying to tell y'all young What's up? What's free, up? Yeah, this free this free game this right, right here, man. Y'all yeah, got you know what I'm saying? This, this ain't shit. no that this ain't no that did it like me by the book. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? I did it by the book. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for, I mean for sure. For sure. It's I mean it's a lot of bumps and bruises. If I would have been in the league 12, 15 straight years, I wouldn't have been as cold as I am now at Hoop. 
Mm -hmm. It allowed me to sharpen me up. Like when I was out the league for three and a half years and I got back in, I didn't care about the little shit that didn't matter no more. Like, oh, I ain't playing 30 minutes like I'm supposed to. You give me 12 minutes, it's over with. And that's yeah. how you, you know, free your mind from that extra shit you can make excuses about. That's how you, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, uh, it's energy wasted. Really? Energy wasted. And that's. Man, come on, man. Hey, hey hold, no, on, hold, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's real yeah. shit. That's real shit because he giving game to these young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, you know, how they can succeed and get better and, you know what I'm saying, prevail on that bullshit. And get the most out of it. Because it's bullshit. It's bull, it's going to be bullshit. It's going to be some bullshit. It's going to be some bullshit. And pissing shit. I got some bullshit going on. That's, hey, <laughs> that's, hey. We going to pissing say Pissing I got some bullshit going on. Y'all sure. need, y'all need a vet. That's where we going. Hey. Like, yeah, bro. Hey. For sure, man. Hey, yeah, what it, what's your title over there? Consultant. Culture, man. I don't want to see rappers and comedians all in the stands. Oh. You're a comedian, though. We need... Hey, hey, hey. Be hey. careful, man. I'm doing something, man. Relax. <laughs> okay. Relax. I don't want to see that right now. I mean, I like it, but I want to see, like, hoopers from the D. Yeah. Give tutelage to the young dogs, and he can recognize, oh, no, he ain't going to do nothing here. He don't yeah. want to be in Detroit. But Jalen yeah. Brown, Jalen Brown will come here and ball out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But... Yeah. Somebody else might not want to come here. Donovan Mitchell ain't going to necessarily want to come here. And, and, and Jalen Brown's from Muskegon. You need to get Jalen exactly. Brown here. Michigan made. You need to go ahead and put that out there. <laughs> Muskegon, hey, Jalen Brown. You need to make that happen. Jalen. Yeah, Jalen Brown, what's Monty, good, baby? Tom Gores, Troy Weaver. Listen, we we, we, we want Jalen Brown. He for the people. You too. ain't going to shout out your Jalen exactly. Brown story? Jaylen nah. Brown for the people. Jalen Brown, my God. Jalen Brown's. Jalen Brown did call me a legend. In real ones? In Vegas. Oh, he said, man, it's a legend right here. We need like, Jalen Brown to come, to come on the squad. and do, Come on, dog. Troy. Hey, Jalen Brown. Right Jalen Brown, rock with your boy. We're going to stamp that right here. Jalen Brown and Jordan on the squad next year. After Zion. Jalen Brown, shout out After Zion, man. Hey, After Zion, man. That's the, that's, X, that's man. the motor, bro. This is Vince. powered by After Zion, man. Yeah. We need a gang sign, bro. What hey, man. Need? Shout out Player Exchange <laughs> on the football, football oh, tip. Yeah, shout out yeah. We're going to be mixing and matching. Heavy. Like, we all love football. we pulling up to the games with full access. The Rock, After Zion brunch. The Rock Nation and brunch. Stop, hey, and brunch. stop trying to match After Zion and come. You could Bruh. be a part of the team. Buddy needs some assistance. He Get needs down somebody. Or, hey. He needs somebody carrying the cameras. Car Bruh. Stop trying to match it and come be a part of the Get team. Get down or lay down, down bro. Down. What, you know what I'm saying? We need some carrying the cameras and shit. Come on, man. <laughs> you want to match that? it and try to be outside. That ain't happening. For My what? boy put they in They can work. join the squad. Who don't want to be a part of ESPN? <laughs> right. The it's new the, ESPN. They still they're still rolling. rolling. They're just, come they're on, man. rolling, man. They still on episode one. Y'all going to have a you talking about? You talking about the ops? No, I was just saying. They we don't talk on the ops around here. Yeah. We line them ops up. Quick, you feel me? Like, like, like school line up. We line them ops up, man. Y'all one crazy, by one. Man. Hey, man. Hey, listen. We got to get out of here. We run out of camera space. Hey, this was a fire episode. This is really the cap on our season one. You know what I'm saying? We preparing to the off, off season. You been to start season two. Man, we hope y'all rocked with us. We thank y'all. Y'all got any final words to say before we get out of here? I got found a word. Hey, like, it's up. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not for CP3, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's up for us, man. <laughs> hey, man, listen, I'm booked and busy everywhere. I'm out here, man. My wife said I can get out the house. We all like break. the show, too. When the, next, when the next uh, show I got today? one Monday, and I got, come Thursday at Punchline. Thursday at Punchline, I'm well, in you there. Gotta say the, you got to say hosting. the day. You got to say come the day. Come Thursday, uh, next Thursday, which is uh, yeah, okay. 22nd. No, nah, we, yeah. If that's Ooh. Thursday. That's the day of the draft, ain't it? Yeah. That's because I got a dentist appointment, boy. I've been dreading the dentist. <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Punchline. Every, hey, listen. Every Thursday, I'm at Punchline. Every yeah. Thursday. Every Thursday. From now on. Every Thursday. Your, okay. boy, your boy got a residency. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your, boy, your boy's there every Thursday. So, uh, tap in, man. Uncle Smooth, man. I'll be seeing y'all in these streets. I appreciate so, the love. Signing out, man. We, we out here. Out here. Out here. Peace. Alpha Zon, baby. Tap in.